Well, now it's time to put the cake together. Now, as I told you, my three cakes were chilling in the freezer. Uh, that makes them easier to handle, uh, easier to slice and frost without it falling apart. What I decided to do after I put them in the freezer was instead of making a three layer cake, I decided that I was going to slice each one of them in half. And instead of three layers, I would make six layers. Won't that be exciting? And I have a combination of my chocolate buttercream frosting and some um, raspberry cake and pastry filling from Solo. Now I have two cans of these, so I'm going to start by slicing my um, cakes. And I've never done this before. I, I've only seen it uh, on YouTube channels that I've watched. But I'm going to start by uh, placing the cake on this beautiful glass uh, Christmas dish that my sister gave me. And it's not that ornate. Uh, it's a nice dish. And you, you won't see the Christmas tree. Well, you see it there. Um, so I'm going to start with that. So let me move this aside. And we'll take our first one and we'll unwrap it. Ooh. Remember to take the parchment paper off the bottom that you had in the baking pan. Just get rid of that. I'm going to leave this right here. Now it says in the instructions that I watched that you use a serrated knife. Can you see it? There you go. Serrated knife. And what you do is you find the center of your cake and um, you just slice a little bit in and you go all the way around until you you do all of it. Oh gosh it really is. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Oh see not good. I got cake all over me. Mm. It's delicious, too. Mmm. Mm. Well, I think I will use this to hold it. Because it's cold when you take it out of the freezer. Now I've got, see, now my serrated knife isn't long enough. It doesn't go through the whole cake. And you really need a, you really need a, a serrated knife that goes through the whole cake. I don't have that, so I'm going to have to improvise. So I started slicing all the way around, kind of like a little bit ways in, all the way around. But now I do have this other long knife, and I think that's how I'm going to finish it. So I'm going to put this on top. And since I started the cut, I'm going to see if I can, oh goodness. See if I can work my way through the whole thing. Oops, get that out of the way. I mean, you can tell I am not a professional cake person. I have never done this before. I don't know if I'll ever do this again. Holy Hannah Montana. All right, I think I just reached the other side. Ooh, I don't know how it's going to look. Well, see, it wasn't too bad. I've got a... Yeah, this one's a little bit thicker, so this will be the base. So, let me move this aside. Hmm, 
Nothing worth having. Mm. A few pieces of cake. Keep it clean, people. Alrighty, so there's my first one. And I'm going to put it right here. Oh gosh, a lot of cleaning of this plate. Okay, now according to my directions on my six layers, this first layer is going to be raspberry fill. And then I'll put the other little layer and it'll be chocolate buttercream. So let me get all my cakes sliced in half so that I have six of them instead of the two you see. And then we'll build the cake of raspberry fill and buttercream frosting. Okay, now I have all of my cake sliced in half. You can see a little bit of them. They're laid out on my island. So I actually have six layers. So we're going to start with, I need a third of the, of the two cans that I have. I need to divide it in thirds. So let's hope I can do this right. Now I remember they said when you put frosting or filling, you do not go to the edge. It's one thing I remember they said. They said you stay about a quarter of an inch away from the edge because as the cake goes, the next layer goes on, it will press that down and you don't want your filling or frosting to ooze out. So keep that in mind that you're just going a quarter of an inch to the edge. Ooh, I can smell those raspberries. Ooh, yeah. That smells delightful. Mm-hmm. Just give it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, maybe a little bit more. It's so hard when you're looking at a can and you're trying to figure out what's the uh, a third, a third, a third. Okay, there we go. First layer on. Now, let's get the next layer. And let me make sure we peel off. We position it on. This layer, of course, will have the buttercream, which, we, of course, we know we have a giant pan full of whipped buttercream. Ooh, yeah. Let's start with that. My knife and I will just I love frosting oh, that's the best part if you're cutting a cake like a sheet cake give me the corner piece because I want both sides of that frosting it is absolutely delicious now your frosting if you don't use all your frosting um, it'll save up to uh, three uh, you know Room, room temperature for up to three days or up to two weeks in the refrigerator. So I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of leftovers. So I will keep this in the refrigerator. And it says that when you take it out of the refrigerator, you just got to whip it up for uh, 10 minutes with your beater to kind of get it back to life, as they say. So let's get this... Um, a little bit to the edge, but not all the way. I want to make sure I have an even amount. This is just another first for me, as I have never done this. So, hmm, there's always a first. 
I'm going to try to make this as even as I can to make sure I don't have any points that are not even. Because that means that more even it is, the more level the next layer will sit better. Okay, so we're now ready for the next layer of cake. I'm going to pop this back in the freezer and let it firm up. And then I will be back in about an hour or so. Mm -hmm. After I'm done licking my fingers. And we will get this cake. Can you see it? Ooh, what a mess. Yeah, I got lots of cleaning up to do. We'll get this cake all frosted and done for Kevin's party. Okay, I just took the six layer cake out of the freezer. So it's, it's nice and firm. So let me just frost the rest of it. There's nothing worse than trying to frost a layer cake and your layers are moving all over the place and you're, you're holding it together with one hand while you're trying to frost with the other. So uh, let's not do that. So the things you learn, I'm just gonna put a big old amount of frosting on this cake. I'm, again, I'm not a professional cake person, so I'm just going to start right on the sides. I do wish I had um, one of those plastic paddles that allows you to go around the sides, but again, I'm sure it'll be fine without it. I love a lot of frosting. Nothing worse than a cake, in my opinion, that has no frosting on top. I mean, I don't mind on the sides, but if you don't have a lot of frosting on the top of your cake, what good is the cake? That's what I say. So frosting goes on first to the top because I want to make sure that I have lots of it. And I can skimp on the sides if I have to. Again, I'm just, ooh, wow. Well, I'll come back to the top. I think I've got enough. So I'm gonna keep just, and again, I don't have one of those cake um, turntables that I can roll. I'm gonna have to actually just manually turn my plate as I frost. And that's all right. Okay, that is it. Let's get it in the picture there. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Mmm, buttercream, delicious. Okay, so let's get a close up. And there it is. Six layer chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream frosting filling and also raspberry filling. Nothing goes better with chocolate than raspberry. I've already got the table already set for Kevin's birthday dinner. I'm using his favorite china. Ooh, cocktails will be the order of the night. Now all I have left to do in here is to get some decorations up. And I've got some nice decorations, colorful streamers, balloons, and some happy birthday lettering, I'm going to have to get a little help putting this stuff up. Once I do, I'll show you how it all ends up tomorrow for Kevin's 43rd birthday. Oh boy, wait till he sees the dinner I have prepared for him. Alrighty, the dining room is decorated. Oh, we've got balloons and streamers 
and the windows decorated. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. Nice. Won't he be surprised? He'll be even more surprised when the food hits the table. Oh yeah, oh, and the cocktails are poured. Well, that'll be even better. Then he'll really be celebrating his birthday. All right, we're finally sitting down to Kevin's birthday dinner. I will present him with the official invitation. <laughs> I can't get it open. <laughs> Why did you do that for? It's official. <laughs> we must follow protocol. I'm cordially invited to a private dinner in the honor of my 43rd birthday at 5 p.m. I see we're running a little late. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been that dessert. <laughs> Yay. So, toast and cheers. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. Guess what we're drinking. It's Birthday Cosmos. That's right. Happy birthday. Mmm. Oh mm. my goodness. That's yummy. Yummy. I make Kevin chicken with roasted red peppers over pasta in a cream sauce. It looks really good. It smells really good. Ooh. And we're going to have um, rosemary infused dinner rolls with a light salad. All on my good china. Yes, on Kevin's good favorite china. We don't use it normally because no, we, we have to hand wash it. <laughs> so, on the special occasion, we're using it. And uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Happy birthday, <laughs> Kevin. Am I supposed to blow these out? You're supposed to make a big wish and blow out the candles on your giant six layer chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream frosting it's and all, raspberry fill. That's all mine. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Thank you for not putting 43 candles on me. <laughs> I'm going to open my card now. Okay, open up your card. I can't get it open. That's sad. Sadly, it's sad. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have gotten the bifocals. Thank you, everybody. Guess what I got for my birthday? What did you get? What did you get? I got a beautiful car. Oh, nice. And do you know what's in the car? What's in the car? <gasps> Frank's taking me on another cruise. Another cruise? Where are you going? Next year, we're going on a Western Caribbean cruise on the NCL getaway. <gasps> When are you going? For my 44th birthday. Oh my God, the big four, four. Yay. Double digits. Four. Oh boy. November of 2018 on the NCL getaway. Do you think they'll have this giant cake? Sadly, no. The cake is cut and there it is. It's a six layer chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream frosting and raspberry fill. And the piece is on Kevin's plate with some vanilla ice cream. He's dying to eat it. Go for it. I hope you're all happy. <laughs> Making me wait to eat my cake. That's my cake. Mmm. 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 Bye. I'm eating my cake now. Put the camera down. <laughs>